Republican lawmakers in Wisconsin are reintroducing the Save Women's Sports Act, the ban which would ban transgender athletes from competing with biological women and girls in high school and college sports. Again, that act would be that ban. The bill would require schools to have either male, female, or co-ed teams. Students who identify as transgender will be required to play on co-ed teams. And now more than 20 other states across the nation have a single-sex sports law similar to this one, the Save Women's Sports Act. Dan Nodal is a Republican Wisconsin state senator, and Barbara Dietrich is a Republican Wisconsin state representative. Um, Barbara, I'm going to go to you first. Why are you introducing this bill? How important is it to you? I'd say it's pretty important. Um, I actually introduced this originally last legislative session at the request of a father who was worried about his daughter's safety in sports. Um, we got it through one house of the legislature and uh, ran out of time before we got it through the second. And uh, the interest in this has only grown since with uh, women athletes throughout Wisconsin of all political persuasions reaching out to me very concerned about this. When you talk about State Senator uh, Canoto, I'll bring you into this. When you talk about reintroducing this, um, obviously something would have had to change in this bill for to, to reintroduce it, or has it? Has any of the wording uh, been changed or anything within this act uh, changed in order for perhaps those on the other side of the aisle to agree to this? We've had uh, a change in the Senate uh, makeup. I was not uh, in the Senate last uh, cycle, and I am now uh, in the Senate now, so I'm able to be the Senate lead. We have uh, an organization in Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Interschool Elastic Athletic Association. It kind of oversees and uh, monitors our athletics uh, in the state. And it's kind of a quasi-public, private government uh, agency that uh, has been a little challenging to work with uh, in the past. Thought they might take up this uh, issue, uh, but they have not. So it's really up to the legislature to move forward with this uh, legislation. Barbara, if the bill does make it through the legislation, it could potentially be vetoed from the governor. Do you think that that might happen? Do you think it could pass? Of course, you always introduce legislation hoping it will pass. Um, and unfortunately, our governor does not seem to care about biological women. So it could fail. But it's important to keep on the forefront because this is, as you said in your introduction, going across the nation and our Females in sports really care about this. This is what Title IX was meant for, was to protect women in sports and save them for women, not to be taken away from men who decide they're not going to compete in women's sports. And getting down to this and really away from the, the, the legislative process, if you will, and just really the heart of the matter and where people stand, it has really been um, such a divisive topic. A U.S. soccer player, women's soccer player, Megan Rapino, speaking out on trans athletes and women's sports, saying in part, quote, we, are, we as a country are trying to legislate away people's full humanity. It's particularly frustrating when women's sports is weaponized. Show me all the trans people who are nefariously taking advantage of being trans in sports. It's just not happening, unquote. Um, and I'll go back to you, State Rep. Uh, Dietrich, if you can uh, talk to us about that. We have obviously seen um, several instances uh, where there have been biological men, trans women, uh, who have defeated uh, biological women in their own sport, taking away scholarship opportunities in their own sport in college, uh, taking away their platforms as well, or even those opportunities to even be on those teams. Um, and it has been recognized. State Rep, your thought on that and how that connects again to the Save Women's Sports Act? Well, it's interesting because there is actually a female to male athlete named Nikki Hiltz, who is a runner. And um, she identifies as a male. She still competes in women's sports. So that tells you something. Um, the international cycling um, body just uh, prohibited women, women um, trans women, from participating in women's races. This has got to stop because it is 
bumping women. And I can give you numerous instances where cash prizes were taken away and um, females, biological females, lost opportunities because trans athletes are participating in women's sports. And again, more women are speaking out against this uh, or, or about this rather. In essence of time, we're out of we're out of time for this segment. But we appreciate uh, State Senator Dan Canoto and State Rep Barbara Dietrich. Thank you both, all from Wisconsin. We appreciate that. Very good. Good day. Thank you.